All right, here's nothing. Here's the GT530. Let's see how it goes. I don't know if I'm gonna post all these or not. If they're good and I don't wreck or something, I might post them all. The flight of each one of them. I just flew. Um, this is a really good quad. Um, I'm just going to sort of do like a re review. I've had really good luck out of these motors. These are the props that comes on it when you get it, the wind dancers, but uh, I don't like them. They're really efficient um, about as far as flying time, but I just personally don't like them. I uh, broke all my V1S's and um, waiting on getting some more in so I had these spare props is why I've got these on here. Um, I've done away with the uh, regular stick antenna and got an axi on here and um, just got the antennas coming off of each side with the zip ties. This is only a 2.4 system. This is just for my close in freestyle um but i have really bashed this quad um the arms and the structural integrity of this quad now um you can see here um the way this back antenna mount you can overlook all my grass debris this is um the quad i have the most fun with um this antenna mount right here i have had problems out of it i twisted it one time it's um actually fairly thin 
um, you think this is titanium and really strong or something but this is easy to twist and mess up right here so what I have found what I have found to be the best for me is leave this allen screw loose fairly loose right here and that allows this to bend down in a crash you know um, and uh, well, I've got it tight why have I got it tight um, I must have did that when I put that axi on um, but I, I like leaving this loose I'm, I'm going to loosen that back up because I thought I had it loose but you barely leave that one just a little bit loose uh, that will allow this to move if you hit this very hard it will push it and bend it down and, and keep from bending it uh, other than that the um, run cam camera that comes on it is really easy to break um, this is a plastic housing right here and um, mine had cracked and what I done is took a piece of heat shrink tubing slid around the camera and um, went, it went over the crack and um, it, it wasn't the lens um, that cracked it was where the lens goes in the camera trying to crack where the lens had got hit but um, Anyway, it's still holding up good. Um, the shrink, shrink tape tubing is um, is helping and holding up good. But uh, this is a this is a really good quad. I've got the uh, R XSR receiver. You can see it mounted on top up in there. Uh, the Mamba stack, uh, 2306s, 2450kV. Uh, this is a hard to beat quad. I'll be honest with you. Um, the um this is on uh, beta flight 3.5 something or other um i tune it with my phone with uh, crazy b out in the field and um uh, once once you get this quad dialed in uh, the factory tune sucks um once you get it tuned and uh, and dialed in it's it's a really good quad for the money i'm telling you it's it's hard to beat don't have none of the fancy features smart port audio and all, all that stuff but um it, you know you don't need it on just a close in freestyle quad okay i'm just sort of making a review um would i buy another one of these yes i would this this has been a really good quad um good flying time no problems i've had this quad for um probably a year and a half to two years of heavy flying some of my earliest videos has been from this quad so um would i buy another one absolutely not done anything but broke props and antennas on this quad it's uh, it's been a really good quad it's the diatone gt 530m okay we'll have another one uh maybe coming up soon uh, my next video flight video i post will um will be my marmot so um hopefully i'll get it uh, uploaded here tonight too and i'm just trying to do a video and review of all uh, all my quads and how i like them and uh, maybe it'll help somebody thanks for watching weekend fpv